Hey guys, welcome back. So today we are doing another pregnancy update, except this time I am 31 weeks pregnant today. So we're gonna be going over weeks 29 and 30. So here it is, I'm finally caught up. You guys are finally listening to these updates as I'm pretty much having them because it is Monday and I'm 31 weeks pregnant today. Basically, I've got my 29 and 30 week symptoms to share with you. Let's get into it. All right, for 29 weeks, I have written down that I had hip pain while sleeping. This is something I have talked about before, but it's continuing to happen and it's getting kind of worse some nights. It really depends. I don't know what it depends on, but I feel like some nights I have it and some nights I don't. So I don't really know what's preventing it from happening those nights or what's causing it to happen the nights that it happens, but uh, I, don't, I don't know. But basically, if I'm laying on my left side for a while, I will literally wake up in pain from laying on that hip and I have to flip over to the other side and lay on that one for a while and just like hope that I can make it the rest of the night without having to deal with it. But nine times out of 10, I do have to deal with it. So there's that. Uh, uncomfortable. I'm just uncomfortable. That's when that started. And it's continuing right now. My body has started to hurt, whether it's like even during the day, him moving around, hitting my hips or my back hurts, or I just, I'm feeling uncomfortable in so many ways. Also feeling lots of pressure on my pelvis area. It comes and goes depending on his movements and probably like where he's sitting or how low he's sitting, but I will often feel pressure it makes me feel like I have to pee, and it kind of feels like he's gonna fall out, which I know is not possible right now because I'm not dilated or anything. But it's very uncomfortable, and it makes me feel like I have to waddle or like keep my legs closed. It's just, it's something I've never had to experience before. Riley was never like, she put pressure on my bladder, but I never felt like pressure like this to this extreme. That's all I have for 29 weeks. So for 30 weeks, which is the past week that I just had. I had my doctor appointment. My belly is measuring normally. I'm like right on track as far as where I should be with that. Uh, the heartbeat sounded good, but I'm not really gaining weight. And I keep forgetting to ask my doctor if it's a concern to her, but obviously it's not because she's never brought it up or mentioned the fact that I'm not really gaining. But literally pre-pregnancy, I was 155 to 158 and I'm still fluctuating between those numbers. The scale at the doctor's office said that I weighed 160, but I always feel like those scales are, they you weigh a little bit heavier because not only do you have your like shoes on, but you're dressed. I don't know about you guys, but I like to weigh myself in the morning after I've gone to the bathroom when I'm not dressed because that's like the most accurate weight that your body is. I think the following day after that appointment, I did weigh myself here at home and I only weighed, I want to say 155 or 156. I'm kind of convinced that I've been losing weight on my body while also gaining weight from the baby and the weight on the scale has just been even because I'm losing and gaining at the same time. I don't know if that makes sense to you guys, but that's how I feel because like, I don't know, I feel like I can see my collarbones, I can actually feel them now where I used to not be able to, and everything is like more prominent than it was. And my face looks slimmer than it did in past videos because I will literally look back at old videos and I feel like my face was more like round. <laughs> maybe I'm crazy, maybe it's all in my head. I don't know if you guys can see a difference or not, but I feel slimmer in the face and I feel like all the weight that I have is all baby. I don't feel like I have not gained any like shirt sizes, pant sizes, or anything. With Riley, I did. I gained like a lot of pant sizes and I gained a shirt size and she just caused me to gain weight during the pregnancy and then after when I lost it, I gained it all back. And I'm really thinking that this time when I have this baby, I'm gonna lose more weight than I weighed before pregnancy. And I'm kind of hoping that happens because then I will be getting back into my like pre pre pregnancy shape <laughs> so uh continued hip pain at night like i said it's been continuing and i'm pretty sure it's 
going to continue or get worse the further along I go. Constant pressure, like I already mentioned, I like I said though, it comes and goes and I know it's it feels worse when I do have to pee, but I swear I will literally go to the bathroom and I don't have to pee as much as I feel like I have to. So I know it's just the pressure of the weight of the baby inside my body. It's just great. I'm literally, I'm really over being pregnant already. I know a lot of people say that they love being pregnant. I'm not one of those people. I do not enjoy it. I don't like the symptoms. I hate feeling out of breath. I hate the way it makes my head feel. I, the baby just takes the life out of me. Like I literally have to take an iron supplement on top of my prenatal vitamins just to survive. And even then, I feel like I'm barely making it some days. Like especially if I don't eat right or eat right away in the morning, I feel the way that I'm feeling right now. And it does not help that I just had some coffee but that's because I feel really drained and I'm trying to not feel drained so I can get something done today because I have to work the next three days. I purchased a pregnant support, pregnancy support belt. I don't know what to call it, but basically it's this thing. It's very soft. It's Velcro. So that way you can literally, it's meant to work for any size person. It's like one size fits all type deal. Um, I can link this below if you'd like. Uh, it's by Osmed. It's like the best selling one on Amazon and that's why I bought it. It had a lot of really good reviews and I didn't really know what to buy. I kept trying to ask Facebook groups that I was a part of and nobody was giving me an answer so I just went ahead and bought this one. I've only worn it a couple of times and it wasn't for a long period of time. I'm gonna try to wear it to work tomorrow but the only issue with that is that I want to wear this over a shirt, but I don't want to wear it over my work shirt. So I have to find a shirt that I'll be able to wear under my work shirt that isn't going to make me sweat to death. Because every time I try to wear a long sleeve under my shirt, I have to take it off because I feel like I'm overheating. I don't want that to happen. But if I'm wearing this on just my skin, I feel like it's going to drive me crazy very quickly. Not that it's uncomfortable or anything, but like, you know, you want it to be tight so it's supporting the way that it should. But at the same time, like, I don't think there's plastic in here, but this does stick into my body and my hips. It's like a very hard piece right here, and it's not the most comfortable. I feel like it would be relieved a little bit if I had a shirt on, so... Yeah, I finally caved and got one of these because I felt like it would help with pressure and the hip pain. The iron pill seems to be helping for the most part. Like I said, I don't feel the way that I used to feel at work. There are times where I have to like, you know, take a second to breathe or sit down or whatever, but it hasn't been to the point where I felt like I needed to go to the bathroom and chill. I have not been doing that at all anymore. I used to literally go to the bathroom just so I could sit down for a minute and try to regain my breath or come back from whatever anxiety or panic was happening because that's kind of what I felt like was happening. But it turns out that everything that I was feeling with like the lightheadedness, the dizziness, feeling sick to my stomach, out of breath, all had to do with being anemic. Taking that iron pill has helped a bit and I'm very grateful for it uh, but I will mention that when you take iron it does make you kind of constipated. I haven't really had much issues with it but it does make your stool very dark. I'm not gonna go too much into that but if you know you know. Uh, I also started packing this week. I mentioned very briefly in a past video that we are moving. We are moving in three weeks exactly from today. If I've mentioned that before, it's because I recorded a bunch of pregnancy update videos today because I was trying to get caught up. This is officially the caught up pregnancy update. That's why you see those boxes back there and the boxes over here. I have packed up quite a lot this week. I packed up a bunch of kitchen stuff we don't need right now. I packed up all the bathroom stuff we don't need, including towels and washcloths and bathroom stuff things that you would have in the bathroom that we're not going to need. I've packed up all the baby stuff and I started to pack up the bookshelf, all the movies, the, the Blu-rays, the, the books, some of the video games that we have, the arts and crafts stuff that we have, puzzles, stuff like that. I'm not done emptying it. I still have to do um, like room decor 
and I'm gonna pull down like all the picture frames and stuff and put those in a box. So we're getting there. <laughs> and then uh, literally, not last night, but the night before, um, it was Saturday night. I was supposed to work Sunday morning, yesterday morning, and I was laying in bed sleeping and like maybe two hours before I had to get up for my shift, I felt sick to my stomach. So I debated calling off because I don't like to call off. I've done it a couple of Sundays already because I don't seem to get a scheduled Sunday off for whatever reason. I chose to call off and I'm really glad that I did because I ended up getting sick two hours later. So I actually, I was like almost asleep and then I started salivating and I ran to the bathroom and I puked and I don't know what caused it. I don't know if it's because I had an iron pill without a meal or if whatever I had that day didn't agree with me. I don't know, but whatever it was, I'm glad that I called off because I would have much rather been home feeling crappy than being at work getting sick. That's it for week 30. This was probably the longest pregnancy update I have made. But with that being said, that's it for this video. I know it was a long one. They should be relatively not this long going forward. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hit the bell, subscribe, lots of stuff coming your way, and I will see you guys next time.